My brain is open. Jerry, where's that light? Morning, Mr. Paul. How you doing today? Would you like some orange juice? I'm doing good, Jared. You know, a mathematician is a machine for turning coffee into theorems, Jared. And I like my coffee with milk. Oh. Okay, so I'll bring you some coffee. There you go, sir. Thank you, Jared. No problem. Let me know if you need something. Hey, hey. Did you ever get my laundry? Laundry, laundry, laundry. Yes, I got the laundry. Give me one second. It's all folded, clean, and dryer sheets. Thank you, Jared. No problem, man. Let me know if you need something. Jerry! What's up, Mr. Paul? I'll tell you once, and I'll tell you again. There's always a prime number between N and 2N. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Jared! Yep. Did you finish my taxes? Oh, let me go find those forms real quick. All right. All right, here we go. Got your W-2s. Looks like you'll be getting back $1,000 this year. Great, Jared. Yep, no problem. Let me know if I can do something for you. You know, you know, the Russians have taken over the Americans by creating TV, and that just don't make sense. No sense at all. <laughs> but I hope we'll be able to solve these problems before we leave one day. What do you mean, leave? You know, before we kick the bucket. Before we croak. Oh, before we die, sir. Oh, you take it how you want to take it. Okay. But I can't seem to find my pants. Huh. Well, let me see if I can find you some pants. Thank you. Are you a 30 waist, 32 long? Huh. Those might be a little husky, but I think I can make it work. Paul got his PhD from the University of Budapest. Mathematics was his only passion, and he encouraged younger mathematicians to solve problems that he had not solved yet, offering prizes such as money offerings from $10 to $3,000 as a reward for getting the correct answer. Paul was also a drug addict. Um, he had a really bad problem after his mother died with drugs. Uh, it got so bad to one point, his friend offered him $500 to stay clean for a month. Paul eventually stayed clean and said that he would do it all over again. Paul never married or had children, and he fell into an even deeper depression whenever he learned that his mother was going to die. <laughs> 